So I got a couple things here that are headed for the uh, projects to be finished another day bin, which is pretty big. <laughs> I thought I'd show this to you quickly before it goes in there. This is a sinew that I've collected up, mostly from moose. Um, I'm going to make some cordage out of this. As you can see, this stuff has lots of nice grain to it. it looks like beef jerky. And I've dried this, no salting or anything, just just um, trimmed off the excess meat and fat and just hung it in room temperature to dry. And uh, as you can see, this stuff splits down into smaller fibers fairly easily. So when you pound this and bend it and break it, it eventually turns into something that looks like this, these fibers, and they can be twisted into a laid cordage, which is very strong, very abrasion resistant. Um, it's more durable than any plant fiber that you're likely to find out in the wilderness. So for bowstrings and stuff like that, this is the ticket. Not really a survival skill, wilderness emergency survival skill, to know how to find this stuff and, and uh, turn it into cordage, but um, it's more of a wilderness living long term. Um, making use of resources type of skill. So these types of things can be found in several different places on an animal and uh, that's a reason why it's worthwhile learning how to properly butcher an animal. I don't have one here in front of me now to show you but um, this long piece here actually comes from right along here well, it's commonly called the back strap, but this is the loin, where you get your strip loin steaks and your rib steaks right up here. At the top of that muscle, there's that big seam of gristle that you want to get off of there, and that's a good one to save. And if you properly learn how to bone out a hip, then you can separate your uh, top round and bottom round, or inside round and outside round, as it's sometimes called. The bottom round has this large seam of gristle on the outside of it, if you've seamed it out properly and uh, it's easy to get off of there and scrape clean and if you don't seam your hip out properly then you don't then you'll wind up with this in your in your roaster steaks and that's no good so you learn how to do that and you can save that and then uh, another one that's easy to find is right back here the Achilles heel you can cut off that Achilles tendon which you usually commonly use that to hang your game from so but don't just chuck that in the bin Save that, and you can use that for the same thing, pound it out and use it for natural fibers. But I got one other one I'll show you here quickly. This piece here is actually hog intestine. This is a piece of sausage casing that I hung and dried out. And as it is, it's very strong. Twist it up into a laid cordage, it'd be, it'd be nearly unbreakable. So. That, that's another resource that you can make use of instead of just leaving out there to, to rot. We got this, this um, good cordage material. So, all these pieces here can actually be used as they are. You don't really have to go through the whole trouble of processing them. You can soak this stuff and use it for quick repairs or whatever. And as it dries, it'll tighten up and lock itself into place. So, uh, it can be a quick emergency item but it's better when when fully prepared and and done properly so not much to it just thought I'd quickly show you those little tips and uh, I eventually plan on making um, a sheath out of a deer hide that I have using some of this natural um, sinew cordage and a moose antler handle on this knife that I got from MVS bushcraft um, from the survival challenge so that's another project for the for the box there but when that's done I'll I'll show you that as well okay thanks for watching take care